I feel like this is a bad shot. Yeah. I think we need to start on the same side. Yeah, that, that works. Are you Should rolling? Glasses on? Yeah. Today, we're going to unbox our brand new Ultimaker S5 that we received from Ultimaker. They gave us a little bit of a discount. We need to be honest about that. Yes. Not a lot. It was the distributor's discount. The distributor's discount. Okay, so this is not technically any kind of sponsored content or whatever, but we do want to be honest that you know we got a little bit of money off versus what you might pay for. And Tyler is losing his mind right now. He that? wants to crack open this thing. When, when yes. we told him, no, let's unbox it for the channel, um, he, you, you've got to go. He, Can we open it? All right, fine. Pull, pull the plastic. Pull the plastic. Let's, let's... I don't know what you were talking about, but... <laughs> all right. All right, let's lift it. Oh. All right, let's get that turn. Yeah, there we go. So one of the things we think about a lot at Philbot is packaging, because we're shipping off heavy things all over the world. And so when we get something like this, that's one of the things that we're looking at that you might not be as a as an end user. How did they package this? You know, there's some, some really solid foam, really, really good foam. And you may have noticed on the box that FedEx kicked it around a little bit, but there's absolutely no sign of any damage to this. So what do we got here? We've got our like a quick, quick start guide. It feels a little counterintuitive that something like this would have a quick start guide. Um, here we got some more foam. I mean, it's telling us how to install certain pieces. Ooh, I didn't know it came with filament. So hey! It looks like we got a PVA. That's for support material. Nice. Oh, this. so this one has uh, two heads, two print heads on it. Right. Um, allows for two different materials to be used. More filament. More filament. This is a black in accessory box, which feels like it should be open from the front. We've got a couple zip ties here that we want to pull down. We did watch the unboxing video on this, but I don't think we're following it very well. We're making our own unboxing video, Tyler. That's true. If we followed the rules, we never would have. You never would have started pill box. We wouldn't. True. We wouldn't all be here. Follow the rules, kids. Oh, that's what that one is. That's the power. Okay. Oh, I can't just take this piece off without. Wait, should we? Let's take it out of the. Do we want to whip it out? Yeah. How I think in the video they we, like. What do we oh, do? Man. Man. Should I get it on the table? No, you should not get it on the table. All right, let's do this. Let's kind of like. No. Oh. Watch the video. Okay, move the box. <laughs> okay, move the. <laughs> There's that nice right. packaging again. There we go. Bam. Let's let's slide that back in the center. Man, that is still a heavy machine. Like it's it's all there. This is this is, some, this is rugged. This is rugged. Oh, look at this. We've even got these little rubber stops going on here to keep everything lined up. Oh, like this. This part of the video, I remember. Ah, looks a lot easier. Yeah. Maybe it's a pull, not a push. I'm probably doing it wrong. And then... Dun, dun, dun. Pretty smart right there. So this isn't technically a heated build chamber. Okay. With the doors, it allows... It does heat it up, but mm. I think that patent is still um, operational. More like a, a ambient... Yeah, kind of temperature control. Those are glass, aren't they? It's like a... Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. The accessory box. We've got a bunch more foam in here. You know, it looks like there's, there's definitely some, some bit of dirt, bit of debris. Or if you want to get in here and check that out, you know, of course you'd want to clean this out before you make any... Really it's not bad. It's, no, it's not bad. We, at all. we use a similar foam in, foam in our packaging, and it leaves that sort of oh. yeah foam debris. We got this. Actually, uh, that looks like the recycled stuff. This tie up yep. here. Yeah, it does look. I mean, it looks, it looks like, like the exact same material. Nice. All right. Jeremy just wanted to trim the uh, the belts. Yeah, you know, I just want to hack those apart a little bit. You know, loosen them up. 
Oh, it's got a magnet on it? This is nice. Look, watch that. Ooh, that, that oh, is nice. Oh, you gotta take that off. I thought I'd let you do that. No, you can do it. You pay for it. We all pay for it. Oh, wait, no, put it back. Not a good shot. Okay, you do it again. What? People hate it when you do that. Why? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand at all. All right. So, we've taken it out. Yep, we did not lift the Did you the get a shot of the, the robot on the side? Oh, yeah. That's super cool. All right, I'll put my knife back in my pocket. Is the robot supposed to be printing something inside of it? It's like Bender. They copied Bender. Okay, are you ready for the accessory box? It has an Ethernet port. Nice. You ready for oh. this? Yeah. Is this the network for this? Yeah, accessory box. Very nice box. It's a great box. Can't even open it. Oh, it's all there. Ah. Thank you for choosing Ultimate. Oh, wait, now yeah. they're fine tuning their new build plate. Yeah, we ship with. Oh, okay. So somebody has to go get a new build plate. Right now. No, they're going to ship it to us once we fill it out. Okay. Um, okay. So then we have, what's that? Calibration card. Oh, that's probably for thickness. Okay. Of the head? Ooh. No, it's the calibration of the nozzle off of the bed. Okay. Like we do with, you know, the fingers on the throat. That's cool. How to calibrate the XY offset. Aluminum. So we don't, this is aluminum. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's we, what's in there. We've got the glass plate here. So we don't have the aluminum. They're going to ship that to us when... Oh, that's we, not what's that's in there? Just, that's just the base plate. That's not right. Okay. 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 That makes sense. Why would you I, want... I did see that in the email they sent yeah. ahead of time. That makes sense. So here's our glass plate. Do we want to install that? Probably read the instructions. You know, maybe... Okay, uh, maybe when you edit this, it'll be like step one. No, but... no this is our unboxing video, not our yeah. setup video. This is oh, where we tear okay. everything apart, check out what's there, <laughs> offer a completely unqualified, unsubstantiated first reactions. Okay, all and, right. And just let everybody know that they should be jealous that we have an Ultimaker. We're happy. Ooh, got all sorts of goodies. This is, I love this style box. This is great. Is that a glue stick? This is Magna Lube. We'll do one at a time. The energy saver. The problem solver. That's what it says. <laughs> Solve all your problems with some Magna Lube, I guess. Well, let's take it out. We don't need to... Well, okay. I figured we would feature one thing Something at a time. we're very familiar with. A glue stick. A stick. A who stick? You know. stick? Is that what it is? Oh, more lube. This one is a Unilube. So we've got Unilube and Magnalube. Don't don't use the two together because you'll create a rip in the space on your fingers. This one doesn't taste good. Don't eat the glue stick. <laughs> Weirdo. That's uh, a nice glue stick. What's that? That says five on it. That's great. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, two is that the, yeah. the test print that yeah. went with it? Oh, okay. Two color. That's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, those are the hot end. So, thank you for your hands in the way, Tyler. Get out of there. Yeah. So this is what I really like about the Ultimaker hot end. They they're like hot swappable, right? Mm -hmm. So once the filament's out, this little you grab it, you can like you install it like a cartridge. So if this gets damaged, you kind of, I mean, hopefully we can replace individual components. Look at that little board, that's cool. What do you think? The, the, um, the build quality on this is, is really exceptional. Yeah. Yeah, this is the kind of, these are the standards we hold our products to. Well, we should mention one of the biggest reasons we got an Ultimaker was because we like Cura so much. Mm. They put a lot of effort into it, and it's very apparent that they know a lot about what they're doing. Assembly screwdriver. Right. A lot of settings. And, and we and really appreciate that it's an open source, or, well, 
open platform. Open platform, but it's free. Did you take this out? I did not yet. Go for it. So this is the filament holder. That'll be put in the back. Uh, and that plugs in. So they do have open filament, but the filament you buy from Ultimaker, I'm not sure if other suppliers do it, um, have a it's an NFC tag that allows the printer to know what material it is. Mm, but cool. we can load our own in here still. So that was one of the big things that we were thinking about. We got this. Oh, we got uh, some more things in here. Back to this. We have a few more items in here. Oh. Should we run through it real quick after we've opened it? Like, a little bit. That's a, this is okay. I'll take the raw version. Yeah, yeah. this is good. We're so still only in 10 minutes, and I think 20 minutes would be easy. Okay. We finished. Oh. We're so always ready. We have a USB drive, and then we have an Ethernet cord. That is all the items in this box. And then those things that Jeremy talked about. I don't know if he's a heat guard. Okay. Silicone something. We'll see. Oh, there's three of them. Cool. This is neat. This is really neat. I'm super stoked about this. Yeah, what do you think? This is your first uh, ever yeah. 3D printer other than PrinterBot. This, yeah, this yeah. is... So, when, when I think about 3D printers, like, this is the kind of stuff I think about. Like, this whole, like, very robotic, very techy, you know, press a button and, you know, it's like the Star Trek replicator, you know, something fancy and big and cool comes in to existence. What is this? Uh, 12 by 12? 12 by 12? Uh, I think 18. 18? Yeah, it's pretty big. This is quite large. Oh, what, what's the first thing we're going to print? What's the first thing you're going to print, Kevin? I'm going to uh, print the first thing I can print. The Philobot test print? Or whatever. There probably might be something on that. I wanted to print something that required support that we could use off the broadcast. Mm. Very much. So there right. we go. Sweet. Is That's there anything more we should talk about or show on this? I mean, we're certainly going to talk more about it in the future, talk about the things that we've printed and, and how this relates to Maybe the various we materials that we're, we're testing. I mean, there's certainly right. some advantages. Some of the materials that we've experimented with, once we add support material to that equation, the usability changes completely. So that we're, we're pretty stoked about that. But Should we mention what this is made out of? Because after looking at it, we have this aluminum, aluminum, and aluminum. Right. And then the these, sides are like, these sides are like Lexan or something. Yeah, polycarbonate maybe. But I mean that makes it sturdy. It, this is this is quite rugged. Wow. I like uh, on the on the box it says save the box. Oh. In case you bring your printer traveling with you. That's a good idea. Because sometimes when I go on vacation. You want to bring? I want to bring a 3D printer with me. It's a good idea. I mean, that's a thing. Apparently. I mean, to be fair, I've brought mine <laughs> places, so. Right on. Um, did you get any like really tight shots inside? No. Nothing like the worst. Check it out. Welcome. Yeah, it's just really well designed. Designed in the Netherlands. Where is the print head? Right here. Oh, okay. Oops. I don't know if we're supposed to move it yet. Probably not. I think we'll finish uh, reading the instructions. We should read some things. This wasn't a $300 mm -mm. printer bot. Let's plug it in and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why does why do those gears not work anymore? <laughs> oh, you actually have to Whoops. moment. So our next video will be us setting it up. I don't know. We'll see. But this is probably a good time to close this one up. Cool. But go ahead, and if you have questions about this printer, and you know what? Let's not get into arguments about how expensive it is, okay? I just, just don't. It's not worth anybody's time. If you don't want one, don't want one. But don't complain that it's too expensive. We can't buy any more printer bots, so. Yeah, just, just deal with it. But if you have a question that's not like that, go ahead, post it below. We will do our best to answer it. And don't forget, we are live every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, Phil Lot Live, where we talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. Subscribe.
subscribe, notify, all that. Tyler, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye.